in the last episode. Even for number two. And now. Kid Gonta bigger than other children. Other children scared of Gonta. So Kid Gonta playing alone. That's how Gonta came to like bugs. But when Gonta really focused, it's easy to lose track. One day Gonta got to forest to find bugs and up lost. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you? Yeah, took 10 years though. Um. But Gonta fine. New family took care of Gonta. I see, I'm glad they were nice. Uh, yes, nice, but not people. Wolves. Wolves? But they were really nice. Because of the forest family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. As thanks, Gonta wanna show forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable that there are no animals, but no insects? That's strange, not even one bug. You like bugs too? <gasps> Hey, what's your favorite bug? What you like about them? Uh, no, 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 I, I wasn't saying that I like bugs. I then, you hate bugs? N what? You hate bugs? No, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Shuichi? Y yes, I love bugs. Oh, okay, that's good. No bad person likes bugs. Wait, what? No bad person likes bugs. Oh, aka good people like bugs, okay. Friendship! Good job, buddy. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Ew, yeah, I thought you were gonna die. <laughs> Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Some bugs are pretty okay. And I think it's gonna be easy to hide that you don't that you hate bugs if you if there's no bugs here, you know, sir? So let's just all relax and that's pretty fucking cool. Can I go in there? No. That's pretty fucking cool. Is this a ninja? It looks like one, but why is this here? Seriously, there are so many odd things here. I honestly thought it's gonna, gonna be a p p person. Kinda just like, ha, I was a statue this whole time or something. Let's go here. The observatory or something. Shrine of Judgment. Wow, that's not what I expected. <laughs> okay, it's the Shrine of Judgment. Let's talk to girl. Yaha! How are you? My name is Angie Yonaha. I'm the ultimate artist. Angie Yonaha, ultimate artist. Angie? Angie? You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. Who's saying that? Yeah, <laughs> there's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta la la live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. So says Atua. Atua? The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine f voice. Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Oh, I do both. I paint paintings and sculpt sculptures. But Atua is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his, as his vessel. <laughs> How divine! I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Why? Of course, of course, in return. Will you make an offering? An offering? Every Monday and Wednesday morning, on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. Um, that sounds only similar to putting out the thrush for pickup. Oh, don't worry, don't worry when I say offering, I just mean a pin pint or two of your blood. Oh, like one of those trucks that drive around and collect blood for, you know, other people, like in a hospital. I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see, what about you then? Uh, me? Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on. It won't hurt on a bit. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> Don't run away. This girl is so strange. Obtention. Angie's report card updated. Hooray. Now let's run away. Oh, she ran away. Ding dong, bing bong. Have I met all the people? Wow, the bell. 
Hey, they look, the monitor! Oh, cute, I like the robot the most. Hi, thanks for bearing with us! Okay, I like the robot the most, then the pink one, uh, then maybe the red one, and the yellow one, and the blue one the least. That's maybe it for now, that's my uh, ranking. Kept you bastards waiting, eh? Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. The opening ceremony is finally gonna begin. You, we finally finished our preparations. You do realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? So long, farewell. I don't get it, but we can finally go to the gym. What gym? Opening ceremony? Kaede, what's sh uh? What should we do? I mean, go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. True, but I'm a little worried. Yeah, I'm not a little worried, I am very worried. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's just leave it evil. To the gym! Yo! Finally! All 16 of us have gathered. Hmm, it's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gather here. <laughs> you may not be able to be so easy going for much longer. In this situation, it's no use thinking about things, so eventually Tsumugi stopped thinking. That's what she says. Yeah, what's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big fucking pain. Huh. Why, what are you looking at? Ah, oh, Himiko, you can use amazing powers, right? Because you're attacking stuff, right? I'm not a psychic, I'm a mage. Whoa, that's amazing! I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido! Hey, what sort of training did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? Talking about it is so tiring. You're pretty lazy. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Don't say that, I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. <laughs> he's a leader, he doesn't know what to do. There's no need to worry. Ota, Ot Otua will protect us. <laughs> yeah, that's a relief. Is your fucking brain full of weeds or something? I'll walk him out of that scoliosis. Don't worry about it, just leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick all their fucking asses. Huh? What that? Huh? What's wrong? Listen, hear that. Oh, I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Oh, here's the big moment that we've all been waiting for. The huge robots. Yoohoo! Rise and shine, our sign. Yeah, here's the moment that we've all been waiting for. I don't know. Cool. Kia! Everyone behind Gonta. What the heck are those monsters? Wow, they're so cool. They're excisals, highly mobile, bipedal weapons platforms. They got lots of hometown pride too. I can't keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the Yugos and save me for last. Run, Himiko! Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? Eh? Hmm, didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? What the hell? Nobody told me about these! Alright, chill out you guys, no need to panic, we're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they would have done it. With that, Rantaro casually walked up to the excisals. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something, that's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess, you're gonna force us to do something and if we don't, we get hurt. Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? Ha, huh. well aren't you a wise guy? Our status off, listen up, here's what we want you punk asses to do. Ha, my heart's going a hundred miles per hour, I'm gonna say it, you ready? Yes, yes, hell yeah, it's a... Killing game. <gasps> what? Monodam, how dare you upstage me? Wait a second, what did you say? If I heard him correctly... Killing game. Oh, he said it again. God damn it, Monodam. I'm gonna crush you with this here excisal. Come on, we don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here excisal. <laughs> you too, Monotaro. 
If this is what he's come to it, then I will crush the four of you with <laughs> with this Kirex Sizzle. Hey, why are you including me? Oh well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you wanna go, Jabroni? What the fuck is a fucking Jab Who you calling Jabroni, Jabroni? What you say, fucking Jabroni? I'll throw you down anytime, Jabroni. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. What? Seriously? Are they gonna get into, uh, get in on it right in front of us? Don't worry, Ato is watching over us. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either way, uh, either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here or else. <gasps> oh no, is that the main bear? Is that the black and white original OG teddy? My cute little cubs, you gotta knock off this awful fight. Oh, that voice! Please tell me it's the big boy. Father, father, is that you? <gasps> Papa Kuma, Papa Kuma! Daddy, where are you, Daddy? Daddy? Yes, at that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. It's still pretty fucking light to me. Whatever. <gasps> yes, the one, the wonderful, the first Monokuma that was the only Monokuma in the first game. The, the one. I am the god of this new world. Then in the second game it was Monokuma and the Pink Girl. And all the four other guys are are added to the third game. So the, mo the next game, then the more bears, you know? That's the story. I'm the god of this new world and the headmaster of the ultimate academy. Hey, the big boy. The one, the only, Monokuma. Nice to meet ya. <gasps> Yay, father's here. And that tune is also here. Hell yeah, another epic entrance from Papa Kuma. Daddy is so cool. Wait, but in the previous game she wasn't. Her, the, the daughter of him. So maybe it was a different pink girl, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe it was a different pink girl. Because there was a pink girl in the second game. <laughs> My cute little cubs, you're all so freaking cute. The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute. Even when the prologue is going way too long, <laughs> I love it because you guys are cute. In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because your cutie patooties weren't there. Pops, are you mad? Don't be an idiot! I would never get mad at my cute little cubs. Ah, he's mad. <laughs> but daddy is cool even when he's angry. <laughs> Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4! How many times do I gotta say it? I am not mad! Ah, father is just transformed into Super Monokuma God, Super Monokuma! That's only possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. Um, it's the power you bust out when you really wanna fuck the world shit up! A power you only see when the gods themselves to battle. That's great. But seriously, the prologue is happening for way too long. Anyway, I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. I can't think of any though. <laughs> If you can think of any, it's cause there's none worth remembering! But father remembers, cause he knows everything! Holy shit, that's right, Papa Kuma, you know all kinds of useless shit! Cause daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names in fake news. Wait, what? Hee <laughs> hee, I love embracing my children. They're so cute, I just cannot help myself. Usually ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. But in this case ratings are through the roof, all thanks to the cute monocubs. What is this? What's going on? Another teddy bear appeared. 
Yes, but that's no ordinary teddy. I can see it, the despair and the madness swirling around that cursed thing. Wow, first of all, I'm no teddy, I'm Monokuma. And show some respect, I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, after all. Headmaster? It, ap it appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI, like me. Dong, dong, dong! The excite cells are different though, they're brainless buckets of bolts. They're mindless, pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the monocubs. Autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms, this is certainly turning into quite a story. Well, that may be, but what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned? What exactly does that mean? I shouldn't... What is so amusing? It's just when I said it before, I kinda just phoned it in and now I feel awkward. I want your students with your ultimate levels, talents, level talents to participate in a killing game. Um, killing game us? Okay, please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? You guys don't want to do it? Of course not. Gentlemen, not hurt people. But if you've looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside. And as long as we have the excisos, you can't defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So do what you say if we don't want to die, huh? You gotta be kidding me! Why would friends like uh, uh, friends kill each other? Who said you guys were friends? You guys aren't friends. Your enemies out to kill each other. Um, we're enemies. Uh, I still have a lot of to learn from father about scarcasm. All this talking is bugging the shit out of me. I gotta beat up Molodan to relieve the stress. Uh, but I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or such situations either. Um, daddy, instead of a killing game, uh, could we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament, maybe? Who'd wanna play a game where nobody dies? Well, you do have... Oh, well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute, I can barely stand it. Why, it's so cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I wanna eat it. Um. Hey, Monofunny, you might wanna dial back the cute shtick a bit. Um. Cool it with this stupid banter. I want to ask something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? What the hell, man? What are you asking? We need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. Weapons, huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why? At the Ultimate Academy of Our Gifted Juveniles, the killing game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. Sophisticated? Yes, here the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Okay, um, so this is an another day and I don't remember what voice I gave to Monokuma before, so I guess uh, suddenly I don't know anything. Um, but yeah, hello, let's continue. Um, yes, here the killing game is punctuate punctuated by class trials. Class trials? Okay, let us explain! Yay. Alright, so if one of you maggots kills someone, oh, you, you, you all gotta take part in a class trial. Mm. The class trial is where the blackened killer face is off against their spotless classmates. Mm. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. After that, it's voting time, and if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, uh, uh, then only the blackened killer will receive p punishment. Uh, so cruel, just imagining all the blood and gore makes me wanna puke. After the blackened is punished, the rest of you keep right on living together. But, if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, 
to the black and gets off scot-free and all the spotless students get punished instead. Uh. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Okay. Oh no. Ah, too much! That explanation revealed way too much! Um, you gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. What? Gross. The point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. Kill without being caught, and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then the outside world must be masterful designed, even at the, its cruelest. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Ah, it's an execution, of course. Execution? If you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. But this is a killing game, so the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. Oh, I wonder what kind of punishments there'll be! Haha! <laughs> Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet! The, the kind of stuff that gives me a raging. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> what, Monokin? You. <laughs> God damn it! Yes! I'm s Why? <laughs> Why? Blood, guts, brain! <laughs> wow, Monofanis just threw up. I'm so freaking hard. <laughs> what is this game all of a sudden? Damn it! Huh? Puke gives you a. Uh, no. <laughs> you kids are just adorable. What the fuck is cute about this? Okay, I'm over all this boring shit. Let's get this heart-pounding killing school sem semester started already. Yeah. You have free reign to murder whoever you like, too. Like bludgeoning or stabbing, feeling cheap, try strangulation, feeling lazy, try poisoning. Well, poison is a difficult thing because you have to get the poison and shit. Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crush, electrocute or laugh your victim to death. You can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. That's so exciting. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. Huh. Okay. 16 talented teenager prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. There's no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy!